so yeah I I don't know I don't know hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Ohima welcome if you are a returning subscriber hey I hope my hands are not ashy today in today's video we are going to be taking a look at one size if you don't know what one size is one size one size is if you don't know what one size is <laughs> one size is a makeup brand by patrick star if you don't know who patrick star is patrick star came out with a makeup brand and it sold only a sephora and i actually was able to reach out and they sent me a few new products to try out so in today's video we're going to be trying out only one size product i'm only going to be reviewing the one size product so that we can actually get a good sense of whether or not this brand is worth your zwallas okay so if you want to see what we got from one size and what we can do with the products we got from we got from one size and if you want to know what we feel about the products from one size then keep on watching once I sent over their preserve the serve luminous setting mist and then there's the on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray the ultimate puff turn up the base versatile foundation powder and we actually have two deep we have the two deepest shades we have turn up the base butter silk concealer and we have the two deepest shades as well this is the point point made 24 hour liquid eyeliner the ultimate setting powder this is the shade deep dark we have secure the base makeup magnet primer and then we have the makeup dissolving mist it says go off so we don't actually know anything about the products so what i'm gonna do is instead of going to the website to find out we're actually gonna be reading directly from we're gonna be reading directly from the actual product point being or the reason why is because i like products that have product descriptions on the actual packaging so that you don't have to go looking online for information before you buy that way, you know, I feel like it makes the buying and the information process about a specific product easy. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So we're actually going to start out with our skin because essentially everything we have here is skin focused. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start out with the primer. This is the primer called Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. And on the back, it says an ultra blurring pore refining primer with niacinamide that mattifies and evens out texture as it grips makeup to a flawless application and enhance wear. Apply before makeup. Patrick Star has been doing makeup for a very, very long time. So I feel like with his products, I have high hopes that they're gonna perform like they should perform. Okay, so I'm excited about that. This is what the packaging on Secure the Blur, Secure the Blur uh, primer is. Oh, for some reason it says Secure the Base. It's actually Secure the Blur. It's not fluid. The packaging does not look like it's skimping, okay? Okay, guys, I'm gonna go in with this Secure the Blur, okay? I don't know why I thought it was, it says Secure the Base, probably because all the, all the other ones had said Secure the Base before. Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold on my skin. Or it feels very cold on my skin or very cool on. So let's go ahead and blend this in. It absolutely feels like lotion. It also kind of looks like the e.l.f. matte um, primer, the oil controlling primer. It's kind of like clear, so you don't necessarily see that I have something on my face, but you can see that my, like my skin looks a bit different. That's that blurring in there this has zero fragrance in it like zero it doesn't smell like anything it doesn't feel like anything but i gen i generally feel like my skin looks blurred out i have oily skin and this is my first time trying this primer i don't know how i feel about it i'm gonna push some into my pores right here also make sure that my nose is very well primed and the one thing i should have done was actually 
to um, swatch these products before we did anything because now it's going to be a hassle okay next we're going to go into the turn up the base versatile foundation powder once again we're not looking on the website we're just going to read directly from the box this product says our medium to full coverage powder foundation helps blur unwanted texture and the appearance of pores while controlling shine buttery and buildable this comfortable wear formula settles softly onto skin for a velvet matte finish can be used to blot set and touch up skin non cakey and perfect for daily use says so using a powder brush or the ultimate puff apply product directly to textured areas that are oily discolored and uneven build to desired finish you have no idea how much or how happy i am that the description of the products are on the actual product case itself that in itself is really good because you don't want to have to once again i really really like that oh this is the packaging for it's very nice i like the shiny shininess of it oh it fell down this is the shade 6n <sighs> okay now i'm worried i'm worried this is the deepest shade they have this is the shade number five okay this is number six and this is number five okay i'm just swatching just a little bit of it so this is number six so for a second there i thought this was not gonna work but i can't see it like i can only tell where i put it because it's a little bit more matte than the rest of my skin but if it wasn't for that i would not have been able to tell that i have something on my face right now let's go ahead and swatch and this is the shade number six so this is deep n so n is neutral that's deep that's deep neutral let's swatch five neutral itch itch wow okay Listen, it is very difficult, okay? It is very difficult for a new baby brand to come out with the things to do the matching, like these ones are doing the matching thing right now. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's get into this Ultimate Puff. I'm gonna use the Ultimate Puff because they sent it to us and we have it. I'm gonna use this to apply number six onto my skin. Okay, I'm gonna apply it to one side of my face. I mean, I feel like my skin is already flawless, you know? <laughs> we got flawless skin over here. But it can always look even more flawless. Where, where's the, found, where's the foundation? do i have anything on do i have anything on my face right now this is the shade six this is deep six i feel like the only thing that i'm gonna use the rounded side of this to apply around the corners of my nose and under my eyes okay so bruh this is supposed to be a medium to full coverage powder foundation it absolutely does not look like I have anything on. Like this side of my face is just the primer and this side is secure the blur primer with a little bit of this powder foundation over it. I like the shade. I don't know what to expect, but it is impressive. It looks good. It Whatever they're doing over there at one size, we see them. And this is a buildable coverage product, apparently. Okay, we're gonna use this and this as our markers to see if it gets covered. Because on the other side, I feel like there's nothing there to use to see if it covers. And it actually... 
Wow. I've never been once for one to use puffs, but this kind of application is what I really didn't think this was gonna match me I thought this was gonna be too light for me if anything I thought this was gonna be a concealer shade for me or a concealer setting shade for me and it doesn't look like that and I also absolutely love how the puff applied the product I am more of a brush with a powder product type of person this looks very very good it's not bad and you can see that it covered that dark spot i had over here i don't even know where it is i had a dark spot over here it's covered it up i don't even know exactly where that was and this one is definitely significantly um, significantly reduced I'm gonna go in with the concealers. This this is a turn of the base butter silk concealers. I feel like this is one of his newer products that he's launched so far. About the concealer, it says our soft focus, medium to full, buildable coverage, multi-use concealer helps smooth cover under eyes texture, uneven tone, and appearances of dark circles with a highly pigmented hydrating formula natural finish and all day wear focus okay so so this is four deep neutral this is three deep neutral i'm gonna have to use four deep neutral because four even though it says it's neutral on the back of my hand it looks a little bit more golden compared to number three which is a little bit too red I definitely need a lighter concealer. I mean, you guys know I generally don't like like very bright concealers anyway, but this concealer is making me feel like I need a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna blend this in with a tiny brush. Okay, this is giving me skin. This is definitely a skin colored concealer for me. It's looking like I might need to go up a shade. Get into the Ultimate Setting Powder. That's, that's just what it's called, straight to the point, Ultimate Setting Powder. Okay, this is a super fine 14 hour long wear blurring setting powder. It says made for light bake to a heavy cake. Hey, <laughs> cake. Um, directions to dust with a powder brush or bake with the puff for a soft matte finish with no flashback. So, ooh. I'm just going to be quiet and use this, okay? I'm just gonna let you guys just watch me do this because I I don't know I don't know what to say. It's like my only concern right now. It definitely brightened my under eyes, but it's almost just like a little bit on the almost ashy side, just a little bit on that side. But I'm hoping that once I blend, once I set it with the setting spray, it's going to look better. Maybe this is just my face being too matte for my, I guess, my liking. That's like the only thing right now. But, you know, it's not done yet. I have to finish it and see, okay? So the one thing that I have discovered, the one thing that I have discovered about the one size concealer, which is called Turn Up The Base Concealer, is that it's matte. That's it. Like it's one of those very gorgeous mattes that doesn't like make you look ashy because there's too much uh, powder in it or that whitish stuff in it. I have it on my eyes right now. I haven't set my eyes and okay, like it's not creasing and I have like folded eyelids. So this is what it looks like. I also use it to clean up my brows and it's absolutely perfect. I don't have to set it. And you guys know that I love lining my brows with concealers that I don't have to set because it is just easy. I'm gonna go ahead and set with the one size setting powder. Powder. I feel like the powder is the only no-no to this. Everything that I've tried so far, the color is just not looking 
right let's talk about this eyeliner does it have any thing it doesn't have anything on the box about the eyeliner like you know a little spiel 24 hour waterproof and ultra pigmented that's it that's all it says so let's go ahead and try it my hope is that it's not one of those shiny ones and it's gonna dry matte okay lately what i've been doing with my eyeliner is i've been starting from my lower lash line it really is pigmented and it's sh look at this it shows up you don't have to like some felt tip liners are very difficult to work with because they don't like show as appropriately as they should but this one is very juicy and it works listen i know my eyeliner is given superhero mask but this is what this is where i i'm at right now okay and i'm really really loving it right lord have mercy i'm gonna use the two phase the hangover pillow balm lip treatment on my lips today and then i'm gonna give you guys my mm. Too Faced really knows how to do lip products. They have some really nice lip products. I also feel like I haven't been hearing a lot from Too Faced lately. Okay, let's go in with the mattifying waterproof um, setting spray. I wanna see how mattifying it can get because you guys know that I love, 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 love that e.l.f. mattifying blotting mist that I've been using. So I want to I want to see how this one compares. It reminds me of the Huda Beauty. Ooh, ooh! It reminds me of the Huda Beauty um Rest and Boss Face Setting Spray. Except that one is not a continuous spray like this one. That one you have to like physically. And I don't think that one is a matte one. This is matte. Okay, and I really love almost monotone kind of look and i love the color in my waterline it was so cute okay Oof. this one has a scent to it Oops. and i inhaled it so it's burning my nose oh. <laughs> i inhaled it okay guys so this is my finished look trying out one size beauty one size cosmetics one size one size by patrick star okay um it doesn't look bad i honestly the only thing that i'm a bit mm, about is the setting powder because it's designated as deep dark and generally powders that are designated between deep and dark don't have that right undertone doesn't have that either a little bit more yellow tone a little bit more orangey kind of tone to give you that brightness without the ash factor to it it's very difficult to get that powder right okay especially if it's designated as a slash powder so generally for me any powders that is a slash doesn't necessarily it doesn't come off looking good on me okay so that's like the only only thing that i was a bit apprehensive about that i'm gonna be like um may you know it just depends on your tone but besides that everything i tried was on point okay the primer on point no ash factor from the beginning definitely blurs definitely smooths look at look at look at my skin this is powder foundation like look at my skin okay it looks good the eyeliner as you can see is showing up it's, it hasn't melted into my skin even though i have oily skin and it's not like a matte matte liner but it's not like a shiny liner either which is good because if you have oily skin if you have oily skin, the shiny liners can, you know, be a bit scary. Let me know if you guys are interested in, in a wear test that I could possibly, probably do a wear test like on a different day. Um, I'm willing to try this again. I'm willing to give this like a full eight hour um, like situation depending on 
how you guys feel about this if you want to see it let me know down below in the comments and we'll definitely get that to you probably like soon i mean probably not soon but we're definitely gonna try it because i want to see what it looks like i'm gonna see how long i can keep it on today and i'll come back and let you guys know if i can't keep it on for very long then you know it is what it is yo let me know down below in the comments what products you saw that surprised you which ones impressed you which ones you're probably gonna pick up because you're like hmm that looks interesting okay let me know and we can discuss down below in the comments thank you guys so much for watching all the links to everything i use today will be down in the description box so definitely check that out i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye